Mixed, I mean, kind of like anything, mixed emotions. Uh, but for the most part, I know the guys are really excited, uh, especially because uh, we've been wearing the black on black at home. So guys are ready to kind of switch it up. Or um, it, it's, it's, it's really cool. A lot, I know a lot of, I've seen like a lot of backlash on like social media and stuff about it. But um, we really like the throwback aspect. I remember the Penn State game back in Raven Stadium, the throwback aspect was really cool. It almost feels as if like you you're, it, like it's it's tradition. You can feel the tradition when you put the uniform on. So I'm I'm really excited to throw those on for the first time. Um, so far, those are the my the favorite uniforms that I've worn. What's the mood of the team now? I mean, you guys are coming off some some tough losses, but you're coming back home, coming back for homecoming. What's the mood of the team? Um, just trying to get a win. Uh, there's been, it seems, practice yesterday was unbelievably fun. Um, a, lot of, a lot of the leaders on both sides of the ball just kind of, um, you know, trying to take the reins back of the team, just making sure everybody has fun, because when we have fun, we play better, we play looser. Uh, this practice yesterday was a lot of fun, guys flying around. Um, I feel like we're kind of breaking through whatever slump we were in. Um, we do a lot of competitive third down periods. Uh, Wednesday is typically our third down and red zone day. Um, so I don't know what coach has planned, but I know, I mean, we go good versus good, one versus ones, two versus twos. Uh, but it really comes down just to making the plays. Uh, we're right there. You know, it's not like guys are running wide open uh, or, you know, like people are missing their fits. I mean, we're right there. We just got to make the place and be consistent about it. Meyer Consulting Engineers. In the past five years, our organization has completed over 1,300 projects in the U.S. and abroad, including many structures at the University of Maryland. For structural engineering and materials testing and inspection, call Meyer Consulting Engineers. Um, I think it's a lot of um, just we just just as many leaders that we have on the defense. We have a lot of younger guys as well, uh, and I, I just think it's sometimes uh, I don't know whether guys are tired or whatever. Like whatever it is, like I feel like the plays are there to be made. Like and people are right there. It's just. You know, sometimes it just doesn't go our way. Um, but, I mean, there's really nothing uh, you can do about that except, you know, keep getting put in those positions and, you know, keep uh, just just hacking at it just to, you know, hopefully make the play the next time, you know? Josh, this is a second year in a row this team has sort of hit, hit a stretch where you're playing really good teams, a couple on the road. Um, how hard is it to measure progress in – the environment you guys are in with, you know, playing, you know, at Wisconsin, at Ohio State, where the scores seem, you know, lopsided, but do you feel that, that progress is, is still being made even though it might not look that way, you know, uh, on the scoreboard? Yeah, for sure. Um, I feel like anybody who knows football knows that the score isn't the only uh, tale of the game. Um, I know, like just just watching the film and seeing what plays were there to be made um, that they capitalized on that we didn't, or um, drives that we could have ended um, that didn't because they got a third down conversion and like went on the score there. Like, just th there are plenty of plays that could have shifted momentum, swung the game one way or the other uh, that a lot of people probably won't notice or take note of. But, I mean, we definitely see it. We definitely talk about it. Um, and it's encouraging, like, moving forward. And just to follow up, I mean, do you guys look at the schedule you're playing? I mean, obviously, you look at it week to week. But yeah, when, when you look at it as a whole, how difficult. I mean, everybody talked at the beginning of the season, before anybody got hurt, before a snap, how hard it was going to be, how hard the schedule was going to be. 
Um, do you look at the schedule and say, you know, as, as DJ said, we, we've had a lot of adversity with injuries. Do you look at the schedule as being sort of, okay, we didn't, we didn't get, you know, we're not, we're not playing. You know, Purdue, the Rutgers just played Purdue and Illinois. You just played at Northwestern and, 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 uh, and Wisconsin. I mean, there, there, there's a discrepancy in, in, in the level of competition you're playing. Do, do you look at that as something like, you know, this is what we're dealt. And, you know, we got to um, do the best we can. But me personally, no. Uh, I don't even know the order in which the next few games are coming up. It's kind of just like, just keep your head down, keep working, keep working. Um, and then on Saturday, you know, like whoever whoever pulls up or whatever stadium we pull up to is kind of, you know, who I'm prepared to play. And I know a lot of guys are like that. Um, I mean, we, we're competitors. You know, we don't really look at the name of a school and like let that in intimidate us, or you know, or let that give us more confidence than any other. You know, uh, I I, I kind of just I show up every day to work. Whatever team we're preparing for is whatever team we're preparing for. In Indiana, what have you guys seen? What have you guys heard about the Hoosiers? Um, we haven't done. We haven't gone into too much film on them yet. Um, Peyton Ramsey's a guy who makes a lot of plays with his feet, too. What's been the biggest challenge for you guys in defending mobile quarterbacks this year? Um, just keeping them caged in the pocket. Uh, uh, and just make sure, like, the, the rush gets there. Make sure, like, rush lanes stay, like, the guys in the, stay in their rush lanes. Uh, but honestly, I mean, we, we see things that we can exploit. We see ways we can make plays. We see um, ways to ways to beat them, and we're going to capitalize on them. Homecoming, is it something that registers? Is it something that you're you excited to be seeing teammates? You know? Definitely. Um, definitely excited for homecoming. Um, hopefully the fans and the atmosphere will have uh, – the field rocking. Uh, I'm excited for the new the, the new uniforms. Um, Saturday is gonna be fun.